Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. This video is one of several videos showing how to use the TI Inspired Dynamic Geometry application to help students understand and discover geometric properties by investigation and exploration. The bit.ly shown here will show you where you can get more info. Please pause as needed. The following pages show 3D objects, and you're, we're going to slice those objects with planes that will determine what two-dimensional shapes are formed. This is a fantastic visualization process. So here we have a rectangular prism. We're going to grab a vertical plane and pull it through it. And you can see that it's going to either be a square or a rectangle, depending upon what is there. And then the horizontal plane will grab this and pull it up, and you can see it's whatever the base is. A triangular prism, I'm going to grab a vertical plane and pull it, and it starts off being a segment, and then a rectangle, and then it's the square base. You can kind of see that there. And then when I do the horizontal plane, pull it up, you can see it's just whatever the base is, whatever that triangle is. And again, this is something very hard for students to visualize, and this helps them quite a bit. Square pyramid, here comes the vertical plane. Starts off as a segment, then a rectangle, then go, or actually a trapezoid, then goes to a triangle, back to a trapezoid, okay? And then the horizontal plane starts off as the square base, and then goes up and eventually becomes a single point. Cylinder, I'll grab a vertical plane and pass it through. First hits it at a segment, and then it's a rectangle, and then a rectangle at the diameter, and then it gets smaller back to a segment. The horizontal plane is pretty much the circle, the base. Cone, here comes the vertical plane here. And you can see it's a parabola and then becomes a triangle right in the middle and then back to a parabola. The horizontal plane is the circle getting smaller until at the top it becomes just a vertex. Go to the Bitly website here and click on the link for a 90-day trial and you can do not only the um, activity we just did here about slices, but any of these activities and over a thousand activities at the Math Inspired website. Please contact me with questions. Enjoy.